Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Eddie and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm doing a long-awaited Jungkook Binder update and it has been seven months since the last update. So there has been seven months worth of clownery. I mean, a bit, like, like a lot, a bit of clownery. I do confess. So I hope you could have fun today and let's see here there are timestamps below that you could go to so you can speed up to the sections you want to look at there are links in the description as well including my supply list i hope you have a good time and how about we just get going because i can't wait to show you my golden update all right let's go i'm going to start off with my japanese collection and although I don't have much to put away in this section, it's going to be pretty exciting anyway. Well, it is going to be exciting regardless because I am doing a JK update after all. But we are going to start off with this JK and it is the Youth Handshake event with the little stamp. It's going to go right here and I don't have the others, but it's a good start for JK. And the next one is even more exciting and it's because I'm going to put away finally I've committed to one this this is the run handshake event and it's gonna go right here oh isn't that pretty and then this one yes finally 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 I committed to getting this Kayanenka and I am so 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 happy it's one of the ones in my big wish list and it is done at least I have JK woohoo so let's just find some time to actually appreciate this yes and that is it for my Japanese section next one will be my seasonal section and this one is even shorter update but <laughs> these two PCs have been like the bane, I guess, of my existence. I had the hardest time, like, finding it. And it is the Dalmajong PCs. And it is the, of course, the special PCs. So, I guess I could take this out much easier. And put this. But I'm finally, after, like, what, a year and a half, a couple of years of looking, I finally found it. And this is JK's of two which will go here I literally had to buy a whole entire set just to get this two I mean it wasn't that bad to buy the set but then I have no extra PCs so if anybody's interested in those extra PCs I do have them but just not the specials because that's what I needed it for and now I am complete I am finished with the Dalmajong you all right Moving on, I will be spending more time on these next two sections, and that would be the tour and the master sections. If you're new to my channel, I primarily collect BTS, and I do focus on Yoongi and JK. Last year, I was collecting a lot of Yoongi stuff, but this year, I vowed to collect JK, and so that's what I'll be putting away today, and there's literally a ton of them. So, I will start out by putting away the HYYH on stage, and there are seven PCs. I have the seventh one right here, and the reason that I have it this way is because I really do prefer my PCs to be right side up. But I haven't yet committed to it, and that's why, as you can tell, I haven't customized this page. But I really like this layout. I liked JK, like, you know, right side up, like I said. And look at that. Look how young he is. Look how cute. Look at this. And he just, you know, turned out that there's two, one, and then three here. And all of the same, kind of like zoom. And then this one is a zoom out, which is perfect for the back. So as you can tell, I'm use just a tape to hold it there together. But at some point, I'm gonna have to commit and make a decision and see what I really want to do with the orientation, or the setup, or the layout for him. I do not have his uh, postcard size ones though. Right. 
let's move on to the next one and that would be uh, wings yes this wings this JK and I will be putting away actually let me take this out Whoa. this one and this is the essay book plastic I guess PC I'm missing the hollow so hopefully someday I'll find that but this is his wings and okay that's done now when I collect I do put my PCs or when I buy something and it arrives I do put my PCs away because I do want them to be safe and I put them in a what I call a staging binder where I put a lot of PCs already in their pocket pages like this one and this is from the love yourself korea version this is probably my favorite pc right there isn't it so cute i love the color combination and i was buying the set like piece by piece or pc by pc until i got impatient and found the whole entire set for a very 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 reasonable price and so i said forget it so i have all of these extras and if anybody's interested just ask me i am not going or i'm not planning on collecting ot7 or the rest of the members except for just jk and yungi because it's one you know expense and two really room <laughs> the collection could get pretty like big and i don't know what to do with them and you know like where i'm gonna put it but i decided to collect all of the units so that at least I have representation of all the members and love yourself looks like there's eight uh, PCs there so it will look great in this you know eight pocket page and I'm just going to put some fillers and on this fillers I'm going to be using this is the one and actually it is the Meow Cafe and this is the 66 by 91 so slightly larger more made stardust and just gonna put them away like this i probably should do this like prior to but i was not prepared for it now i don't mind seeing the images come through but i just needed the filler so that i actually know what stuff i'm missing <laughs> much so then you know be bothered by again the images coming through and then oh okay, yeah this is the japan version ah korea version and i do have jk's korea version as well and it's this one right here I was so happy I got that again for a reasonable price. This one I just bought straight away. And I believe a lot of my sets or um, collections for tour I got from or I bought from Amazonite on IG, on Instagram. I do wait for things to come on sale and okay and that's the unit okay whoa okay now we are doing the Japan edition speak yourself wait I have something here just so happened that it's Yung Cook for this unit. And I do have this. I believe I'm just gonna put this here for now. Whoa. There's some merch related. And this is one of them. This is like guess from the coin pouch. I'll put that there. Yay. Moving on don't have this oh wait 
I forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot that I did complete this Japan version too. Yes. Oh my goodness. Speak yourself, Japan. Okay. And the next one. I don't know if I have like Mots and Bang Bang Con here. But they should be, yes. Uh, right here. So here's the tour that didn't happen. And here's Bang Bang Con. And I actually combined both of the units here. I only put together four of each because they look the same. Now at some point I might decide that I will change it then and maybe have a set of eight PCs per page for Bang Bang Con and the tour, Mods tour, but not today. Okay, um, is that it? I think that's it for my tour. So that was a lot. And so let's move on to the musters. I'm pretty excited about my musters collection because I have so much to update and it's pretty exciting. First one I'm going to be doing is the, what do you call this, is the muster that never happened, I guess, which is this. Aren't those cute? Look at that. Let me put this away first. And I think, I hope I did this um, in the right order. If not, it'll be really funny. Okay. Now, I was very hesitant about putting this portrait PCs this way because as I said earlier, I really would rather that they all be facing the same way. But today, or at least when I was thinking about doing this, I just got tired and decided I was like not going to bother with it. But let's do right side up. So here you go. And the back side, 17520. The mustard that never happened. Yes. Now there's also, I guess, photos that goes with this. I do not have that for JK yet. So, but it is a good start for the master collection. And the other one is this collection and this, and I don't know what that is. And this, and this, this, this. And this and it looks like I probably screwed up okay let's see if this is correct and there's seven here and this is the 22920 so it's kind of like the third master right Anyway, super excited that I finally have all of these. And I hope this is the correct well, order that I wanted it in. I don't think it's really the order. I know it's backwards, but it's easy. I'm a right-hander, so it's easy for me to load this way, you know, from right to left. But no worries, I'm going to turn it upside down for you. Yes. Isn't that pretty? 22920. So it's like the complete set. Super excited. Super, super excited. Again, I bought this all in one shot. I did buy pieces of it. But then I saw the whole entire thing um, in a set. So I have... <laughs> pieces of this also if you want to inquire about that so now I bought this in pieces and we'll see so yay okay moving on is the what is this 
This is the fourth buster and this is the Japan version. And I order it Japan and then Korea for the tour PCs if they're both Japan and Korea. The reason is because Japan, J and then K, is just alphabetical. That's really all there is <laughs> to it. So I do have JK. See, I even have to label it because I can never remember what they are. And I also bought JK piecemeal. And that's the reason why I have him here. So I'm going to get rid of him here. So now I have this guy who's an extra. And let me get rid of this. And let's see where we will put him. So if anybody's interested in this JK, let me know. I think I should put him right here. And I have that extra Yungi right there. Yay! All right. And then the next one actually is now the Korea version, which is, I understand, is really harder to get. And that is true because I don't have JK version and I have yet to see it. There's so many, uh, I guess, I don't know, fakes out there that I don't even like feel like looking for it. I think I'm just going to let it, I guess, happen. If I see it, then I'll buy it for a reasonable price. Again, these are my, I guess you could call it, version, unit versions right here. And this is the Korea version right here. Yay. Did I do the other one right? Did I not have any? Huh. Okay. Wow. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> okay. Next will be this is the Fifth Master Japan version. That's the Korea version. So let's put JK's version right here. Again, this is another one that I bought piecemeal until I saw the whole entire set. And this one let's see here and the next will be this Korea version wait wait I think I have yes the unit version I have a complete set of the units because it is uh, eight out of eight right there so so happy about that there's the um, Nam Jun Tae Jimin and Yoongi here and then Jin, Hobi and JK here. So I have all of the members represented. So that's really cool. And this is done complete. Okay, now really moving on to the <laughs> Magic Shop uh, Korea version. And this is the one that's so many fakes out there too. So I was very hesitant on buying this. And this looks legit, so hopefully it is. Um, it is from a legit seller, so yay. I'm so happy I was done with it. I love the colors and uh, the suspenders. Ha! Looks so pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay. And completed! Yes! Woohoo! So that is my muster. For my next additions i don't really know where to put it and so i th thought i'd put it here because there's room in this binder where i don't have room in other binders and so let me just explain so one of the things i've done huh, i've done is start the butterfly dream collection so that bfd so here are some of the photos i'm going to put them away first and then I'm going to show you so as you can tell and I did try and get uh, JK's versions first I barely have any of Yoongi the only one I have of Yoongi is probably that because it's there 
So let me just put this away. And then I think show you what I have I think that I have all of JK's butterfly dream so this is what I have to do authenticity with this but I did use did someone say BTS um, her guide on how to find I guess real <laughs> versus fake um, butterfly dreams and the way I actually had it, it was really 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 cute was so this is JK with you know the I guess blue aquamarine colored shirt and then I paired it with Jin because I thought that that was kind of cute unit PC. And then I have him here with the same outfit and paired him with, you know, Yungi right here. So that's really cute. I'm sure there's more out there, but I haven't looked for it. I don't did not look at any of the templates yet. I was really, really, really just concentrating on getting JK. This is cute. So all of these are all the same outfit. That's why I put it together. And then this is the white one. And then this black one, I just decided to pair it here. How cute is this? <laughs> and then, of course, here's um, another group right here. And then there's another group right here. So I really like getting group or unit photos or PCs. Yeah, cool. So I think I'm just going to stick it here for now until I figure out where I should put it. Any recommendations or where I should put the Butterfly Dream? I was trying to consider of maybe putting it in an A5, but then I really don't have that much in an A5 binder unless it was just a, ooh, like a staging type binder. So I don't know, maybe I should do that, put it in A5. Anyway, that is all I have for the muster section or this section. Let's move on to the next one. This is my gold collection binder. <laughs> Where harder to collect PCs is housed for now. <laughs> and we are going to be adding to it. And this is Europe. Love yourself, Europe. And this is the love yourself, Europe. I'm going to add and let's see here he's gonna go right here eee! yes I absolutely absolutely love this eee! okay so the next one I, I don't even know where I should put it I think maybe let's put it here yeah let me add a page and here we go Really. Yes, and it's this. Look how cute that is. I mean, come on. You can't say no to that. Oh. Okay, which one am I going to do first? Okay, this one and then this one. Wait, it's actually going to have to go here. Yungi has to go this way. Isn't that cute? Okay. Next. Oh, yeah. This one. Woo. There's going to be some wah, <laughs> update. <laughs> All I have to say is that I am guilty as charged in terms of clownery that's all I have to say and yeah <laughs> so this is what fire yeah fire this is fire and yes I do have this 
and for now I am only putting the PC or the broadcast here and someday I'll find a nice place for them and yeah. yes I'm guilty of clowning and I'm afraid this is just the beginning uh, but remember it has been seven months since I updated any of Jungkook's stuff okay so please don't come at me <laughs> I'm already confessing to doing some ultimate clowning all right next one is uh, I don't have spring day or blood is what do DNA Whew, okay DNA and um, yeah so I have this I think we should do this Oh. Whoa. Oh, I don't even have. Do I borrow? What? I think I'm going to have to borrow. I run out of uh, correct sleeves to use, but. I still need to protect. So I figured the pointy finger one is pointing to this one. Right. And all right, it's double sleeved, if you're wondering. Although the sleeve size is terrible. Terrible. What? Okay. I guess this is a temporary place to put all of my clowning. So one day I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Right. Oops. So let's just put this here. And then I'm going to borrow this. And I'm going to show you this. And this is case version and as you can tell from here it's got good size sleeves but I could not remember to save my life actually what sleeves I used next time I should write it down that would have been the smarter thing to do but these days I have not been doing the smart thing let's just get that straight but <laughs> I do have this done well for eyeballing it's terrible okay let's put this here for now okay fake love there you go yes and um, yep, the clowning continues. But again, the this part of the broadcast PCs anyway is not as I guess uh, painful in terms of monetary than the earlier ones, which I don't have um, because I am like really not yet ready to commit to the big girl item, ticket item, I guess that's what you would say, bigger ticket item. But yes, this is still big, huge clownery nevertheless, because as you can tell, I did make some dent in the affordable portion <laughs> of the broadcast PCs and then Boy With Love I already have and finally on huh okay even I can't keep my face straight <laughs> but 
just say that this happened a few months back before all of the craziness recently happened I do not like to put double-sided tape on my stuff but again this is temporary until I get all of my since I have enough I think JK I probably could put it in its permanent place I say I do plan on putting them all on um, a four binder but for now it's just an a5 binder to just help out with focusing my collection for some bizarre reason it was easier for me to find JK than it is to find Yungi. so Yungi will go here <laughs> wow I can't believe I cannot believe that that's made this much progress and finally something that I wasn't prepared to actually do was to do this and I don't even know what to say <laughs> I wasn't planning this is Taiwan I wasn't planning on doing this at all but as you can tell it happened I do not have <laughs> Yungi's um, version though but it is done Whoa, okay that was a lot all right that's enough of um, back collection how about we start moving forward and go to the best part of this update and that would be the golden update you ready for that let's go so this is the state of my golden when the last time I actually left it. It is in a Meow Cafe binder right now, but I am going to actually take out most of it. So this is the cover that I chose, which we will not be using. I am going to be taking out primarily the postcard sections right here. And I'm gonna put this in a different binder. So let me just do that, close this, and I'll be right back. This is now the Prism Platinum Wonderlust collection. You can call it the bunny collection because you can see that there's a bunny right there. And I'm just going to put the pages that I took from the Meow Cafe and put it here. And I am just going to put it here. Now, I am fond of using different pages for my binders. I'm, I'm okay with that. Sometimes uh, I actually prefer to do that because then, you know, you can create some cool stuff that you cannot normally do with the same size pages. And if you use same size pages, you're going to do a lot of customizing, which I have done in the past. So I'm not a stranger to customizing, which you will kind of see later. But I'm going to go ahead and put all of this from the previous one and again these are just the poster postcards sorry from the albums and look I'm using a different size of pages this is from the green one this is from the blue one wait no this is from not the blue one uh, yeah well this is the blue one this one right here a colored one is uh, the beige color and this is from uh, the blue version, including this one right here. Okay. Uh, and this is from the Weavers variety. Now, I'm just going to put all of the bigger inclusions first that I have, and then we'll go from there. Okay. This right here is the Global uh, Pub. And I'm gonna just stick it here. I have not yet committed to where I really wanna put the postcards or the bigger inclusions. I actually wanna do a, what you call a uh, video on just bigger inclusions. Okay. This is the other uh, global um, pre-order benefit, 
but I'm not gonna put it here because I don't like that it's not facing the same way. This now on the other hand is the UMS uh, pre-order benefit and it is facing the right way, so right side up is basically what I want. So I'm gonna just put it here. Again, I'm not taking into consideration uh, like the sizes or the, the pages. Okay, so that's there. And then this one right here was set up for this. And this is the Golden Godiva. There was a promo for uh, Godiva chocolate. And I happened to get just two of these. Probably it would have been nice maybe if I would have gone like maybe four <laughs> to set up a, a nice little, I call it a wall when it, the whole entire page is the same. I call it a wall. <laughs> it's just my terminology because it's a wall. And then here would be the Godiva. Let's see here, other Godiva stuff. And oh, I guess the, this is the chocolate box cover. And you might not know that I did not get the, you know, we did not get chocolate or food mailed to the U.S. I guess unless you actually went there yourself and bring it, but. I didn't I just bought this so here you go there's two yay and then we'll put it right here Whoa. so that is part of that collection okay so the next one these are all by the way golden and or have anything to do with golden <laughs> I am going to just open it up okay this next one is actually what I call part of JK's promos, right? The CK one. And so I have it here, but I don't quite know where I should put it. So I'm just gonna put it here for now and figure out then what I'm gonna do with it. But again, this is a solo work and it is his. Therefore, I'm just gonna keep it this way. Whoa. Oh, actually that doesn't fit. I did not put any fillers here because I don't have any that would fit, I think. Oh wait, I might have. Hold please. Okay, so I forgot I had this. At least it will suffice for now to just put it here, just to have a little bit of a, I guess, filler. <laughs> and so this is JK in CK, Calvin Klein. So happy to actually get this um, full set. Right, it's just gonna stay here for now because I don't know really where it will go. Okay, so moving on to our golden. I suppose let's go this way and what we're gonna do so one of the things is the stickers what did you do with the stickers this is what I did with the stickers I actually even had to buy extra stickers just so I can do this can you see it I hope so let's see right so I actually was able to get um, enough stickers for a heart. And when you flip it over, it's the other side of the heart. Cool. Yes. So that is my heart <laughs> stickers. Okay, moving on. I had a very hard time actually figuring out and that's why it took me a while to do any updates at all for golden I did not want to bear and find out what type of layout I was going to do for it for all of the PCs that we actually got in the end I did I did separate concepts and then just PCs that are mostly lucky draws and I did not want to 
actually take them apart or break them from the actual sets that they were because it's going to take me forever to figure out where they came from. And so I decided to just keep a lot of the sets together. So this is the first part of this golden update is just to show you some of the lucky draws. And then I'll show you what I did in terms of the concepts. So the first one is, is I finally got all of the yeah, uh, Chinese um, versions or the PCs. And this is the Yeti Mall. And you can tell this is this. And you can flip it. And you see getting Okay. And I'll just put this here. Okay. And then this is the other one. So there was four PCs for the Yeti Mall. And the other Chinese versions are from YZY, and there's also four of them. So we're going to put them here. Whoa. Okay, why am I having difficulty? I am using, by the way, 58 by 89 Meow Cafe inner sleeves and a 61 by 91 Meow Cafe outer sleeves. All right, they're so pretty. And so all of these have uh, some form of a, you know, finger um, pose. Well, this one didn't, and so I kept them here. Plus, his head here is extremely bigger than, you know, the rest, so it kind of needed to be center stage. And there is a space here for a reason. All right, okay, so moving on to the next one is the, what we call um, Korean Lucky Draw number two. Uh, so the second uh, time, and they were three uh, PCs per store, and this is MTU. Okay. We'll put this here, here, and here. Now, if you're wondering how this, what the species look like, um, you can look at the link above or the link in my description below to see my. Um, Jungkook haul back I guess seven months ago <laughs> and I was waiting for a few more stuff at that time and now I have all of them that I really needed okay this is now the Korean lucky draw number two and this is a power station and this is one of my favorites out there and this is because it's a double bunny you can tell there's um, a <laughs> bunny and bunny and this one right here so, whoa. one of my faves. And then finally, this is Soundwave. Again, all from the version 2 of the Korean Lucky Draw. Okay. And I chose all of the peace signs right here. Peace signs right here. Although there's another peace sign right here. So, they're like all over the place. So, I kind of just chose this peace sign. And if you see it you can see that there's um two thumbs up in a peace sign right here and so that becomes a central focus my favorite <laughs> right so the next one we have is the uh, japan fan club lucky draws so we'll put that here and here and here the next one are the Weaver's Global Additional Gifts. So this is the, like the, the credit card ones, the really hard ones. And also you're going to see my second favorite. Again, this is the double bunny because that's a bunny and this is like the bunny. Let me show you. It's closer. <laughs> my double bunnies. I love that. And then this one right here. And then this is now, uh, the next one is the UMS. This is the UMS Lucky Draws. So pretty much these are your Japanese section. And here. Right. Yeah, I was having such a hard time when I, you know, put all the PCs out without the bags in them. 
to try and figure out where I want to put them. It, uh, there was uneven numbers of things. The backs were like terrible. <laughs> I, c I couldn't do it. And so I just decided to just, okay, forget it. I'm just going to do it by sets. And again, this is now the first Korean lucky draw and they gave us four. And each lucky draw, this is sound wave. So there's four pieces in each one. The next one is now, I can't even remember who they are, so that's why I kind of labeled them here. So it looks like I know what I'm talking about, but in reality, like I could not remember. No, actually, for this particular one, I did it this way because I really like this. Okay, and now I have two peace signs right here, and I really love the fact that these are all like almost PCs that are selfies, which is great. And so, moving on, now I'm gonna be doing the other PCs. These are what you call the online showcase ones. So. For his golden showcase, we had the um, online version, and these are them. Right here. And then we also had the now MTU Lucky Draws, which is the last of them. Of first Lucky Draw, first run of Lucky Draws for Korean versions and here we go whoa right to round out this page I did have to use the Japan fan clock pre-order benefit here and then the Japan fan club member exclusive which is here and this one right here and so ta-da these are all of the uh, lucky draws and you know additional gifts that we had. Then I do have a page for the big ticket items, which by the way, I do not own because they're just big ticket items. <laughs> this is one from the Golden Showcase. So this is the Sitcheta one, his second uh, episode with um, Yungi. This is Seven. This is 3D. So seven was Inkagayo. 3D was, I believe, Music Bank. And then standing next to you was Mnet. So these are big ticket items. And these are all replicas because I do not have them. And then this right here is the Golden Art Raffle. And there's 50 winners for this. And this is also a replica because I personally did not uh, win one, <laughs> although I, I submitted a project. Now, I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do digital art. So I did paper crafting and uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that is my replica expensive page. Okay, so finally, we are gonna go to what I call our concept version. So for the concept version, I don't even know how to explain this, but let's go. So first thing is then I have the, I have all of these. Okay, let me just get all of them. Okay. So this is the UMS pre-order benefit right here, which I will put right here. This is the Weaver's Global Pre-Order Benefit right here. Then the online showcase. So these are all kind of the same. As you can tell, it's a concept. This one right here is the Walmart exclusive. And all of these species are coming from the blue. <laughs> 
a book, I guess, blue photo book, blue album. And um, finally, I have this. And this was gifted to me by Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. This is a European exclusive. And it will take this middle section right here. They're just like so perfect. Yes. Okay, so then the next one is we need to now add something to this page because it is lacking. And so we will do this. All of these images are from the photo book. And here. Ta -da! What do you think? I thought it turned out pretty good. I actually like it. I like it the way it turned out. And I added this little strip right here. Um, so yeah. It's looking directly at your soul. That's what I think. Anyway, so that's one. And the back, I don't know if you could tell, it's the same as this. This is actually the back uh, or the, you know, the inside covers of the blue book. So I use it there. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, so the next one is this concept. And the, it's a mix, actually. This is a mix of concepts, but it's like same color. This is a hard copy, so it's a replica, so hard copy of the Weaver's album Digital Photo. Okay, and then this one right here is a Japan fan club. Pre-order benefit. Whoa, why am I having difficulty? Okay, Japan fan club pre-order benefit. And then these are album PCs. And they're all the same colors. So not necessarily because the they are um, from the same concept book, but they are the same colors. These are the same concept. These are not. Okay. And then this, I don't really like this, but it's such an anomaly. It's, it's so different that I have to actually put it up here. I mean, it's either you showcase it or you hide it. It was kind of hard to hide it, so I'm just gonna showcase it. So this is one of the Weaver's Global um, Early Bird Pre-Order Benefit. And it is that transparent one. It, in, it is like PVC. And so we're gonna stick it right here. Okay, and then I actually had a difficulty with this particular concept because I have an odd, an odd <laughs> PC, and it's this one, and this is the Weavers USA exclusive, as you can tell here, and I can only put it here. So then I had to choose a <laughs> concept for this particular page, and what I chose was, let's see here, this. And because this is a picture, I opted not to put a picture here so that I could put a picture here. And this is what I chose to do. Yay. What do you think? <laughs> Thought it turned out pretty okay. It's, you know, uh, choices. Again, these are all from the photo book, from the blue book. And so when you turn it over, I did not use the blue cover, the inside cover. I left this the way it is because it had words at the back. So it had the words Jungkook, Hitman Bang, P-Dog. So I thought I'd keep it this way, plus it's a little bit more... Instead of blue, there's a little bit more beige color here. So I just kept it the way that it is because I thought design-wise it looked pretty good. Right, for the next concept, it's this and this. And, whoa. 
Okay, I'm having really difficulty with these new pages. These are Prism Platinum pages. This is the V3. It's slimmer. So, because I got tired of using um, the 66 by 91 or the Dragon Shield version. Dragon Shield outers. That's why I've been using this black. I mean, this, you know, smaller version. And then this is your offline showcase. Lucky draw. So I'm going to put this here. And this is now the Target exclusive. This way, the white version of it. And this is the other Weaver's Global Early Bird pre-order benefit. And again, it's too odd you know just transparent or kind of it's plastic it's too odd so it's either you hide it or you just make it a focus I just left it as a focus and for this particular section I went ahead and did this there's a lot of choices for images that you can use from the book. And I chose this. Yes, I like to not always stay in the center, as you can tell from here. And here, and I like things that are up front. <laughs> so anyway, that is uh, for this concept and this version. I think it turned out pretty good. By the way, I don't take credit for this type of layout. Um, the first time I saw something like this, it was done by Kate Elise. I do not take credit for things that I actually did not think of myself. So I told Kate I'm gonna borrow her idea. Thanks Kate for sharing. And so next is this one and this is D2C and you saw my D2C previously I had like three of them and you're like well, why do you have three because I like it too much <laughs> I don't know why I apologize for my voice coming and going on my mic oops I um, far away <laughs> or I move away from the mic and the voice kind of goes away okay and then this one right here is also a hard copy or a replica of the reverse album digital i guess photo and i needed to find one that is in the same kind of color cue so i used this here and then <laughs> the reason i actually have three of this it wasn't because of, well, I kind of just like it, but it's true. I do like it. I love, love, love this D2C. I think I've said that before. But also because of the repetition. And I'll explain that. So this is the image that I chose from the photo book. And right here. And see how it's repetition this is repetition and so below here I decided to go ahead and do the same thing and mirror it and voila <laughs> what do you think it's kind of funky huh but there's that repetition that is you know seen in any of this and so for design purposes I actually followed that design purpose and so I hope it turns out good and then finally finally let me work on what we're gonna do for the last concept which is also going to be a cover so this is the last page and here I have our album PCs I'm just gonna put it here and here's another album pieces okay and then I have the three the only the three walls 
So you have the US exclusive, you have the Walmart, and you have the Target. And we will put it here. Put it here. And put it right here. Okay, next one we have is the reverse pre order benefit, which is this too. This is a good way to use dupes. You have them. And then this is the offline showcase one. So this is great. They're all the same Zoom. And these are all the same Zoom. So it kind of turned out, you know, fairly decently. And they seem to be almost in the same concept. Okay. So because they fill the page, I decided to use as part of my cover page for my golden section. And so for my cover, I decided to use this particular poster. Can you see it? Yeah. And I use him and I use this section as well as this section. And so let me show you exactly what I did for my cover. So let me just put this here so that it will be impactful so with that in mind here's my cover can you see it right probably should take it out so here's the cover I used him and then inside the book I copied this two images but remember the book is only this uh, the height is only this much Okay, so I had to put two of them together and I actually cut it so it looks like, you know, they're the same <laughs> or they're part of the same design when in actuality, this and this are the same. This is, you know, again, from a different page of the book. And then the golden, it was right here. I just put it right here. And then when I covered up the back, because it was all black, I put lyrics in it lyrics lyrics and inadvertently accidentally the lyrics was on the back side of that lyric page that I chose and it showed up here and so I kept it because of the golden color to this and I thought it was kind of cool plus big images tiny little images so I kept it and then I uh, just chose another image from the book and in actuality it was cut off right here so I gave Jungkook a uh, a hair <laughs> more hair so I had to paste together two two hairs <laughs> to make up like a full JK look and so yeah so this is what it looks like and then I cut it I used my fusing tool I cut this out and then I paste it to this side right here using washi tape this is part of the poster as well and this is just washi tape. As you can see, I use a beige or golden color that matches this. I use black, I use music. And when you open this, it is held together by, like I said, washi tape. So it's right here. So this is my new cover for my golden section. And of course, yes, we have more things coming. Um, let's see. Have you been watching? Are you sure? Which I have not yet because I want to binge, you know, totally binge it. We have what? We got Never never Let Go. And now we are going to get I Am Still. So this collection is going to grow. But I am happy where this is currently. I am missing big ticket item, but I can do without that because I do have replicas for it. I am just happy that I'm able to do a lot of the things. That I wanted to do with this collection like this and this and so again thank you for the ideas from other you know people and I hope that you have enjoyed your time with me today so today September 9th eight days from JK's birthday I just want to take this opportunity to actually thank you because according to YouTube I am at a thousand subscribers, something that I didn't think would ever happen. 
And so I am eternally grateful. I am so, 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 so happy that I actually reached this milestone and I couldn't have done it without you, really. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, thank you for making my day, and thank you for subscribing and continuing to support me. I hope that you continue to like, comment, and if you haven't done so, subscribe, and so that I'll be back with more content next time.